ready to go? He takes the puck, he slams, he shoots, he scores! Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The show is about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lou in Gananoque, where the Gananoque Islanders are facing off against the Frontenac Flyers. You can see the Gananoque Islanders are wearing the white jerseys for this game, and the Frontenac Flyers will be wearing the black jerseys. And you'll see the puck gets deep in behind the front neck net, but the front neck player is able to pick up that puck and slide it along the boards and carry it out into center ice. But Ganakwe players are able to break that up and grab the puck, but front neck picks it back up in the neutral zone and slides over to the close boards. There's a little fight here at the blue line, but uh, the Ganakwe player seems to be going up against three front neck players, but the front neck player does come out with it. And he's going to get a little shot in on the net, but the goalie just knocks that off to the side, and the defenseman picks it up, and he goes behind the net, fires it off over to a waiting... We're just taking a look at some names here. I believe that's Hannah Mead. She's number 17, so you'll uh, see her with the hair flying behind the helmet. Defense was able to pick that up and just slide it in deep there. And oh, here comes number nine. Oh, he shoots and he scores. That's Alec Ritchie from Ganakwe. That's uh, Alec's 17th goal. It looks by the stat card, and that was assisted by number 12, Hunter Chase. That goal is going to be marked in at 13.43 in the first period. Just uh, figuring out which scores which. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. So we got that all set up there. It's one nothing for Ganakwe. And Frontenac puts that in, but again, the Ganakwe keeper just uh, slides that off. But uh, Frontenac's still going to keep pressuring. Oh, and a good shot, but that's just high over the net. I'm not sure. I think the keeper might have got a hand on that one. So it looks like we have uh, Stephen Mangan in net for Ganakwe tonight. And for Frontenac, we have Alex Gatke. I'm sorry if I screwed that up, Alex. And Gan's able to recollect that in the... Uh, Neutral zone and get in deep here. It's going to go behind the net. There's going to be a little bit of pressure from a couple of Ganakwe forwards, but Frontenac's able to get that out and not too much trouble here. And here comes number is that three there from Frontenac with a nice shot on net there. Garrett Pipe. Oh, a nice little dump in there, and Ganakwe's going to get back on the attack. Frontenac's able to wrap that around the boards, and that's going to go way past center and down past the Ganakwe bench, but uh, not enough for icing. Oh, nice centering opportunity there, but Gan defender's able to break that up and be able to get it down there. I believe that may have been number nine again there, uh, Alec Ritchie. Luke Reed's going to dump that down, and I lost where the puck was with the camera. I do apologize. This is uh, my second game with this camera. 
Oh, and a nice shot from the slot in on our uh, Ganakwe tender, but good save. And Ganak was able to dump that down in on the front neck tender, who puts it over into the corner. A little battle there, and the puck just sits behind the net, but the front neck player is able to gobble that up and. Looks like he's just going to go a little calm, collected there. But, oh, a good interception there at the blue line, but unable to grab the puck. But number 18 there, that's Emerson Key. Going to put on some good pressure there, definitely. Again, it's going to recollect to the deep dumping. I think we're going to get a line change here. Well, Frontenac's going to... Grab that puck and get a little bit of speed coming down here. And uh, Gannock was able to stop them at the blue line. And it was just a hard dump in, but it is behind the net. And Frontenac does have it with a nice centering opportunity. Oh, a nice block there by the Gannock way forward. That was uh, Camden Haired. The uh, getting the body there in the way to make sure that puck didn't get a good shot on net. And front nice going to come back in. We have a little two on one here. And a nice sliding opportunity into the slot, but uh, couldn't connect. And Gannock was able to get that out, but front neck clucks it back up just over the blue line and drives in. Oh, little bit of contact with a little. Don't think that was intentional. That was more just a little bit of contact with the players fighting for the same ice. But front neck's able to get that puck back up and dump it into Gann's zone there. And that's. Uh, was that there? I believe that was potentially Luke Reed there. I think that was 99. I'll have to get a good look there on the back. A good little battle there in front of the Ganakwe net or Ganakwe bench. Got a and the puck comes squirting out to center, but dumped right back in by Frontenac. Again, I quick collects it behind the net. They're going to come around hard. And they're able to get that puck past the uh, attacking forward from front neck, but not too far. It got stifled at the blue line, but here comes Ganakwe again with another opportunity. And oh, a nice uh, bat down with the glove by the front neck goalie. Front neck picks that back up. Nice little pass to center, but unable to be grabbed by the front neck player. And Gan. Gobbles that up, so not much of an attack there. Oh, offside, so Gannon collects itself, and Frontenac has a chance to grab the puck, but not much as it stopped at the center ice and dumped in, picked up behind the net by the Frontenac player who's going to bat up the boards, and they're going to keep pressuring. They're going to come out with it as they step over the blue line. little move there, but unable to get a hard shot on net, and oh, Wave on the puck, and Gannock was able to grab that, pick it up, and oh, a little bit of a dangerous play there, putting it right in the center, but oh, Frontenac's going to cut over the blue line. Oh, and the player went down. I don't think he was able to get a shot off on the Gannock way keeper there. And here comes a long, hard dump, and oh, that one's going to be icing, so they're going to bring that one back down. Notice in the bottom corner, we got a couple logos there. We have Puck Support and One Stop Skate Shop. They are uh, proud supporters of uh, Sports Hub Live. So uh, jump on over to Puck Support at www.pucksupport.com or check out One's, uh, One Stop Skate Shop on Facebook today. Puck's going to get dumped in behind the Ganakwe net and over by the Ganakwe boards. And a nice play by the falling uh, Islander there. And the puck's just going to get dumped in. And there's uh, Hannah again. She's uh, not going to have any problems putting the boys in their places out there. She... Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, we have a good job opportunities, but Frontenac's able to break that up. And Ganakwe's going to collect that back at their blue line. And we're going to get a little bit of a rush in here by number 12, Hunter Chase. And nice shot on that, but... A good save to uh, match the shot. Oh, and a nice shot there by 
Let's, let me see. That was 15. So that was uh, Jack Lehman. Nice shot uh, there. And just missed an opportunity to put that one through. And Hig just dumps that around, and uh, Frontenac's able to pick that up behind the net and get onto the attack here. And that's number seven, so that's Cameron Monroe from Frontenac. And, oh, a nice pass over. That's uh, Garrett Pipe puts that one in. That's Garrett Pipe's 31st it's, uh, ranked in here on the uh, scorecard. Number three, Garrett Pipe assists to number seven, Cameron Monroe, and number 15, Evan Hole. That was a nice, good, hard shot, and that's going to get this game all tied up. Ooh, a nice shot, knocked down by the Ganakwe keeper, and Ganakwe picks that up by the net. And Oh, that was Frana that picked that up and got a good, hard shot on the net there. Another good shot from the point, but blocked away by the keeper, and Frontenac's going to stay on the attack, though, with the puck. But uh, Richie looked like he got in there and broke up the play. Frontenac seems to have a pretty good control right now after they got that uh, goal to tie up the game. So we'll see what happens here. Hmm. Hmm. Frontenac player leaned in on the Ganakwe player there to put him down, but... Looks like yeah, Ganok was able to clear that out of the zone and uh, get a good change here. And Frontenac's going to power back up, speed up, and get back going into the zone. And they're going to dump, just dump it in there and have a light, uh, light pressure by uh, Reed. And oh, we had one come in there from uh, looks like a change to give some pressure as well. But Ganok was able to knock that out and. Cut all down, and here comes in, that was uh, the 72, so Lee France. Nice little shot on uh, in the goalie there, but he eats it up and slows things down. Says we're going to take a minute here, and he's going to smack his post and get back set, and here we go. Oh, another shot, and oh, nice, nice glove save, and he dove over, but I don't think there was a shot. The puck just went off into the corner. There's a nice little battle over there. And Frontenac's going to come out with it. And it looks like there's a dump, but again, our player is able to get a stick on it, and the defenseman's able to come in. Now, he did misplay it there, but nothing happening because they were able to pick that back up. Frontenac's still holding the pressure, though, in the zone. Again, he's going to take my net, recollect. See with a line, but Frontenac's able to keep that in. But on the dump back into the zone, that one's going to go out, and we're going to get a whistle. Hmm. Long dump down on the goalie, and he's going to just gobble that up. Saw Hannah coming in and didn't want to take any chances with her, so held it, and they're going to reset over to the right. What a good battle there on the faceoff, and that puck's going to get, oh, just knocked in, but a quick whistle. I don't think that puck was fully held before the whistle went, but the referee might have just lost sight there, so they're going to reset back to the right, another faceoff, and Frontenac's able to Actually, it looks like Gant was able to knock it back to their defenseman and keep it in deep in the corner. Oh, and oh, a shot on net, and that one's going to go in. That looks like that was Hannah Mee, their 13th. Assist to number 15, Jack Lehman, and number 9, Alex Ritchie. Gant Akwe is going to go up 2-1.
And front nice back onto the attack. They're not going to let uh, Ganakwe uh, keep uh, too much momentum. And it looks like, oh, there's Luke Reed. Oh, a nice pass over into the slot. And oh, here we go, tie game. Two, two. Number 67, Hunter Holman is second. Assist to number 99, Luke Reed. Luke's on the attack again, but Ganakwe keeper is going to keep the door shut. Ganakwe comes down, dumps it in behind the uh, front neck net. And that's Lee France giving chase in there and giving a little battle, but Frontenac's able to come out with it. And France is going to put it back in the corner. And we're going to have a little bit of chase by Kyle Bowman over there. And nope, the puck's going to go back to our defenseman. Oh, but Frontenac's able to break that off the defenseman player. And there's a chase here. Uh, I believe that was Hunter Chase who gave way on that one. Might be wrong on that one, but I believe that's who may have been chasing there. I'm learning the numbers. I'm learning the names. And the puck's just going to get dumped in behind the front knack flyers. Net and come around. There's not too much attack on them, so they're going to easily get that out. And Joshua Baldwin for front is going to come out with the puck and get a good shot across the net, but that one just goes wide. But front is able to keep that in at the blue line, but again, Aqua with some hard pressure gets it knocked out. And, oh, we're going to have an offside call. Garrett Pipe jumped the line there. I don't know if you noticed the uh, player offside or just got a little excited, but that one's going to get uh, get called offside, so we're going to get a moment to reset here. Oh, Frontenac's going to uh, pick it up here and just uh, lob one in there and wide, the, wide and high of the net. Again, Aqua picks that up and skates it out. They're going to go across center, cut in over the blue line. Oh, nice opportunity, but just wide. Oh, it was like Kyle Bowen with a little move there, but the defenseman's going to get on there. Oh, nice shot on net. Oh, nice center opportunity, but couldn't connect. Here comes Lee France. And just a dump in off the side net, but he's going to pick it up and battle behind the net. But Frontenac comes out to a wide open player up by the blue line. He's going to skate it through over center and dump in. Oh, that's going to come almost dangerously out in front of the net, but the Ganaqua keeper bats it away and Fenson picks it up and. Goes for the low pass, but unfortunately it's broke up. But uh, Frontenac was unable to get the pass off either. So that puck's going to go in deep in Frontenac's zone. They're able to recollect and get to their blue line, get it out. No, no issues there. Well, here comes Luke Reed again. And he's going to fire in a backhand, but that one's just going to go wide. And there's the end of the first period, ladies and gentlemen. Score is 2-2. Two to two. Just a little recap here. We had our first goal by for Ganakwe, number nine, Alec Ritchie. That was assisted by Hunter Chase, number 12, for Gan. Then the uh, front act flyers, number three, Garrett Pipe, came back with a goal, assisted to number seven, Cameron Monroe, number 15, Evan Hole. Ganakwe answered by number 17, Hannah Mead, with assist to number 15, Jack Lehman, number nine, Alec Ritchie. And then... Again, Frontenac came back to tie it up 
and that was at the 320 mark. They tied it up uh, with number 67, Hunter Holman, scoring with assist to number 99, Luke Reed. So we have a tie game, and uh, we're pretty excited to see where this game goes. This is the uh, first game we have access to with this team, and uh, we're pretty excited. You'll see the scoreboard there. Uh, we'll line there up at some point, so that's 2-2. Two -two. And uh, we're going to be jumping in here to the uh, second. The whistle's blown, so the, get the players down here to the center and get this bad boy started back up. In front, I guess that dumped in deep into Ganzone, but Ganzo will collect that. And oh, a diving play by the front neck player. Tries to break it up, but again, still able to get out. And a nice lob in on the Ganakwe goalie, but he's able to easily handle that and get it to his defender. But they have a little bit of trouble for Ganakwe getting it out of their zone, so they're going to recollect on the other side. Mac Lehman's going to get that at least out of his zone, but uh, front neck's able to pick that back up, and here they come. Oh, and a nice shot, but a lovely, lovely glove save. Yeah, and that's Stephen Man Man Mangan. I do apologize. Stephen with the very, very nice glove save. A little bit of a chase here, and oh, Richie gets that puck, but then no, oh, no, that was front neck player got the puck and went down with Richie attacking him. Now he's still staying on it, he's fighting off two front neck players. Oh, a little dangerous spot there by the side of the front neck goal, but the puck comes out from behind it, and front neck's able to get that out. Here comes Luke Reed. Oh, Luke Reed. He snipes that one with cutting across, and it looks like uh, Luke got that uh, puck given to him by Zachary Snellgrove. And uh, that's uh, Luke Reed's 22nd. 22nd goal. So uh, we set here and. Just get that score updated here on the board for us. It's 3-2, Frontenac over Ganakwe. And Frontenac's back on the attack. A nice centering chance there, but Ganak was able to break that off of the Frontenac player and come out. And there's a, oh, a nice diving play, and he ends up taking out the Ganakwe player, but it looks like the ref's going to let them play on. Oh, we have an offside call, so Ganakwe's going to recollect and try to drive back in the zone. That puck was broken up nicely by the front night player and just dumped out of the zone. And we're going to have an icing call, so they'll pull that puck back down and reset. Ganakwe gets a good attempt there at the blue line, but it's broken up there by Luke Reed. He's going to get a shot in, but that's handled uh, easily there by the Ganakwe keeper and just dumped off into the corner. Now Ganakwe is fighting with the puck behind their net against the Frontenac player and trying to get that puck safely out of the zone, but Frontenac's putting on some good pressure on the boards. And it looks like we're having puck it was going to be offside, but Ganakwe was able to pull that one out before... Front neck's able to hit the puck and give a nice and call. So the puck's going to get dumped down in the front neck zone. And it's coming over to a winning Ganakwe player at the boards. who gets it to his defenseman and bats it back in. But that puck's going to come out. To, oh, a front neck player is coming off the bench. Who's, oh, trips up and unable to get an opportunity there with the 
with the defenseman there. So they're going to pick up the puck. And oh, a nice shot in on the front net. Keeper, and oh, he's going to make a diving grab to stop that play. A little off for the whistle shenanigans. There we settle down. We're going to start off here and. Puck got stuck in the feet there, so unable to get a shot off, and Frontenac comes out with it and over the blue line, and some nice moves, but the, the Ganaqui player was able to get a stick in there and break it up, so no shot on net. That shot went wide. That just happened there, so. That puck's going to get dumped in deep, so is going to reconnect while Frontenac gives some pressure. Let's go around the other side, and Gan's going to give us a try on this side. I have a lot of back and forth right now, but nothing uh, too too aggressive in any zone yet here from either team. They're just kind of keeping to the outsides and back and forth, but nice shot in there by uh, Braden, Braden May, Way. Say Braden Way. Number 20. Well, I like number 20. It was my number. Oh, I think that you might not be able to notice that, but it looks like I think the keeper may have just got a sliver of his glove on that one. Front next able to keep that uh, pressure on the board and Gans unable to get it out. Hey. Oh, but they were able to get it past uh, Luke Reed there and deep into the front neck zone. And front next gonna get it. And no, a little bobbler shot there, but. Uh, no one was able to get a handle on that one to get a good hard shot. So Gansas can come the other way. And a nice hard shot by Lee France. But front knot keeper had the answer. Oh, another good chance. But unable to connect cutting across the slot was Reed. He was looking for number two tonight. Nice hard shot from center, but Ganakwe keeper just bounced that down to his player, and Ganakwe comes back out with it, and good hard drive here. But Frontenac had a lot of feet there and a lot of sticks, and they're able to break it out. Garrett Pipe's going to come in with a good opportunity, but not right on net, so nothing too much. Joshua Baldwin with a nice pass over to Garrett Pipe, but unable to connect and put it through. We have an offside call there. Enemy touched that just over the line, but uh, looks like it's going to work out for the best so everyone get some fresh legs out there. And they're going to bring this one uh, all the way down for the intentional offside. Here, uh, there's a pretty uh, solid fan base for both sides right now. Pretty, uh, pretty packed house here at the Lou. And Frontenac dumps that in, but Ganak was able to pick it up. And again, behind the net and tries to get to the waiting forward. And the puck's just going to get put out and then dumped right back in on the keeper for Ganakwe. But he shovels that to the defenseman to keep the play alive.
Bronax going to put that back by the net, retreat a little bit here to get some support, and that's Luke Ryu bats that out, but uh, he's still keeping with it. He definitely uh, a larger body on the ice right now, so seems to be able to control a lot of play when that puck's around him. Oh, a nice shot in on the Ganakwe keeper, and that's just going to get eaten right up. Ref's going to call over to the right-hand side circle, and that's where we're going to drop the puck. Gans back set in, and here we go. A nice move by the right wing there for that was uh, Hannah Mead coming across and attacking that puck right off of the face off now. Oh, getting a little bit uh, lost there, but got the camera back on the play. She's going to give chase, but Frontenac's able to come out with the puck, and now we have a two on two situation. And oh, what a move by the Ganakwa keeper throwing out the poke check and giving the old lay down. That was a solid lay down right there. That was almost vintage Tim Thomas. Another shot in, and again, we're going to have that puck uh, just uh, eaten up by uh, Stephen Manigan. I wonder if I got it right that time. Puck's going to be in some feet, but Ganak is going to be able to get that puck and get it out of the zone, so there's not much danger. And it's 3-2 here for Frontenac. They did take the lead here in the second period. Oh, I just noticed I'm on the wrong period. Yeah. Yeah, it's a learning process for everybody. Oh, nice shot and tip, but tip down, not on net, just tipped right in front. And nice little dump in, but that's going to be an icing call and recollect and slide back down the ice. Oh, a nice chance. Oh! And Richie got taken down and wasn't able to get a shot off. And Frontenac put on a lot of pressure and was able to get that puck out. Referee didn't want to make a call there. It could have got a tripping call there, definitely, or potential interference. But uh, play on. Play on. A nice defensive play with the stick there to get that uh, play broken up. But uh, the dump went right to the front knock player on the blue line. But Ganakwe was able to break it up before it got to the net and keep control behind the net. That puck's going to get wrapped around the boards to a waiting front knock player. Oh, and the puck's deep in the uh, front neck zone. Gans pressuring, and there's a... Oh, it looks like a little wraparound, and... Oh, the puck is in the net. That's on the score sheet is Aiden J. 
Shutcloth Hornback. I do apologize if I said that wrong, but uh, that is uh, six. And we have uh, Lee France with the assist, number 72. We're all tied up here at three in the second period. Oh, and hard contact with the goalie, but he looks to be all right. Throwing his hands up in the air. Definitely not happy about the contact. Lost his stick in that contact as well, and the puck got sent down the ice, and we're going to have a whistle. Goalie cool. definitely took it a lot better than the uh, Tweed uh, West Carlton game we had the other day where we had a highlight. The uh, goalie was not happy with the ref, and he was right up in his grill shaking his, shaking his arms. So he was a little bit more calm on that one, but definitely was some good contact there. Had a, had a reason to be shaking the arms. Luke Reed's going to come on in. And, oh, good opportunity, but not able to get it on net, I don't believe. And then it was taken down behind the net and slow to get up. Might have been tripped up with a stick there, it looks like. Looks like we had a couple players picking up sticks behind the net, but the puck's going to play on, and Gans able to get it out. But Frontenac stops them in between the blue and red and puts it right back in. Again, connects it behind the net, or collects it behind the net, and no oh, good skate out here. And carry it in over the blue line. Oh, and that shot's just going to go off the leg of the front knock defender and not make it to the net. Again, still putting on some pressure, and a nice diving play to block that one. Again, still is keeping the pressure on, but they're just unable to get it in, in on net at this point. They're going to dump it into the corners, but uh, Frontenac gobbles that up and plays it out of the zone. Again, picks that back up at the red line and carries it in. Oh, a little bit of contact there, and I think we're going to have a call. Player looks to be fine. Pop right back up. Looks like uh, Braden Way there that got uh, taken down and... Trying to believe it might have been Hunter Brown. I didn't get a good look at the number, but if it was 10, it was Hunter Brown. Yeah, Hunter Brown had a two-minute penalty, so that was Hunter Brown that made that contact. Oh, and got an air, a little bit of air on that swing, and the puck comes out and is able to be got... Pulled into the Ganagui zone. Oh, there's a little bit of a trip there, but I think we're going to play on. Joshua Baldwin's stick caught the Ganagui player, but they're already down a man, so the ref's going to be a little lenient, but there's still a couple good shots here, but bodies are getting in the way and blocking the shots everywhere. Oh, a nice hard shot, but just wide. And the Ganaqua player coming off the bench was just able to get that. That was pretty close to potentially being too many men, but they're kind of going to let them play on because it was a, quite a close call. See about 40 seconds left on this penalty here, and uh, Frontenac's able to get into the Ganaqui zone and put a little pressure on, but nothing too, too dangerous. And Ganaqui's going to collect that back up and get out of the zone, but they're not able to get too much of an attack on the uh, trailing end of this power play. Oh, 
And again, front next able to eat that up just over the center ice and dump it right back down into Ganaqui's zone. They're doing quite good pressure on this penalty kill. Ganaqui's going to carry it over and in the zone and good little shot, but that's deflected away by the again her the uh, front net keeper. And we're all even up here now. Ooh, and a nice little flutter shot. And uh, Ganakwe Keeper is just going to eat that one up. And that's the end of the uh, second period. Now in this U13 uh, playoff game here, they're going to be uh, coming off the ice. Going to have a quick little flood here. The magic of video will shoot right from here, right back into the third for you. You see the... Uh, Again, Aqua players coming off the ice here for the uh, Zamboni Flood. And here they come back. And we're going to get right on this. Goalies are just going to be getting their uh, creases all ready to go on the fresh ice. Oh, good hard shot. That looks like that was, I think, from number 11, Joshua Baldwin. And that'll just be eaten right up. And we'll slide on over to the uh, left of the Gan Aqua Keeper. Nice pass, but that was broken up, and that puck's going to go up and in behind the net, and Ganakwe is going to collect it and get over to the boards. And they're just going to get out, but Frontenac's able to pull the puck off them and just dump that right in on the Ganakwe keeper. Had a little bit of a dangerous rebound there with how hard the Frontenac player was coming in on the puck, but nothing too dangerous because Gan was able to get out, and here comes Frontenac again. And, oh, he's going to get spun around and not be able to take the puck with him. And oh, But he's going to keep having pressure. A nice little wide shot there. No icing, so there's going to be a quick race to the puck. But again, not quite comes up with it. And able to get that puck over to number 17, Hannah Mead, who's going to skate over the blue line and battle with the puck into the corner. But Frontenac's able to get the puck from him and bring it out, but a spinning shot from Kyle Bowman that was blocked. And we're going to have a whistle here. And Ethan Snyder's going to get a penalty here. So, uh, again, Ankwe's going to go back on the power play again. It's the second power play for them. Oh, and a fallen Ganakwe player is unable to keep the puck in. It's a game that was Garrett Pipe who was uh, putting on some pressure there but was unable to... Uh, keep the pressure and Gan had to dump it down in so we're going to have an icing on this power play and bring it back into the Gan Aqua zone and 
And Ganakwe collects the puck and skates over the uh, center ice and then over the blue line. Oh, uh, Lee France caught up on the Frontenac player and was taken down and unable to get a shot off. Now the puck gets dumped in deep into the Ganakwe zone and Braden Way goes on the puck, but that puck got kept in by the uh, Frontenac players. Seem to be keeping this power play at bay here from Ganakwe. And they'll just break up that play and dump her back down and make Gan fight through with it again. And here comes Luke Reed with the puck. He's going to carry that puck in. He looks like he's going to carry it all the way around himself. A right, nice little wrap around, and oh, he puts it in the net. That's Luke Reed's second goal of this evening. Unassisted, and 24th, it looks like, on the season. And that's going to be a shorthanded marker. Frontenac takes the lead 4-3, shorthanded in the third. And Ganak was going to go back to the attack here, but uh, that's broken up quickly by Frontenac, and they're just going to dump it in deep there, kill off some more of this penalty. Not much pressure coming out of this uh, um, power play here from Ganakwe. The, uh, they don't seem to be getting it in much past the blue line, but we'll see what goes on here. They're driving in. It looks like the, uh, the penalty's over here, so we're back to even strength. A nice shot on net, but Ganakwe keeper eats that up and slows it down. Keeping the game in control because uh, Ganakwe is only down by one at this point and still a close game. So, as we can see with the 4-3 uh, scores, that scoring is not uh, not lacking in this game. So, oh, and it looks like. Uh, Kyle Bowman there tried to get a shot off, but uh, just whiffed on it as he was getting through his shot, and that puck didn't make too much of an attack, but your front neck got the puck, and they were going to start their attack, but were stopped with an offside, so get some fresh legs out there, reset. Let's get number seven. Was at the wrong, uh, wrong dot there, but he got over to the dot in the right time, and now he's going to be in a good position here in the slot, but unable to get a shot off. But Frontenac still able to keep the pressure on. Good break up there by the uh, defender for Frontenac. And two Ganakwe players collide, and Frontenac comes out with the puck, but they uh, were unable to connect on the pass, and that one's going to go in deep, and Ganakwe was able to collect it and keep from too much happening. Puck's just easily dumped in, and uh, Frontenac player blows a tire in the corner. But they're still able to keep the puck in deep in the Ganakwe zone. Oh, and a wraparound attempt, but unable to get that on the net. And Ganakwe is going to connect. And oh, there's a collision there, and both players lost their sticks. But the play on, I guess, with the referees. Another little connection there. That was uh, Ethan Snyder who uh, connected there with the Ganakwe player and put him down. Definitely, the players are uh, going all out for this win right now. You can tell they're getting very. Very physical with each other.
And an attempt there to center the puck, but that got broken up by the front knock defender. And Boom is going to fight for the puck over here on the boards, but uh, front knock's able to clear that one down. Way's going to fight with the uh, front knock player there, and oh, a nice centering pass, but that one's knocked away. I believe that by Hare knocked that one away. Reed's able to pick that puck up and dump it back in for front knock. Ganakwe collects and fires it around the boards. And that puck got dumped in on the goalie, but he's able to get that again to his uh, defender and keep the play moving. Ganakwe just bats the puck away because they were unable to keep control of it there and uh, at the blue line. And we've got a icing call here is trying to go back and forth and keep up with these uh this back and forth ping pong play. Again we're sitting at four three front knock over Ganakwe right now in the third period. Ganakwe's in front knock zone and pressuring for the puck in the corner. And the puck's going to come out on a Ganakwe stick and attempted to be centered, but the puck was picked up by a front knock player who tripped up, and the the puck's still being battled for back in the uh, behind the net. I think that one hit the referee, and it's going to be picked up by the front knock player. But again, a good good attack there, but the puck is now dumped out, and it looks like he's going to go deep into the Ganakwe zone for an icing. So they're going to bring that one back all the way down. Set back up in the front knock zone. Close game here for uh, this playoff series. Uh, seen some uh, some good goals. We have uh, Luke Reed with two goals so far this game. Oh, and a good chance there, but it did not uh, go in. And front knock's able to pick that one up. Another icing call, so. Out, Gritchie for Gann so far as a goal and an assist. Hunter Chase with an assist. Aiden uh, Jetglov Hornback has a goal. Jack Lehman has an assist. And Mead with a goal. And Lee France with an assist so far. So that's who's uh, who's put up some points here for Ganonkwe. Looks like we're going to have an offside there. I thought we were going to have a good chance for a breakout, but the puck got broken up by Reed, and uh, but he was offside, so they blew that one down. So they're going to reset here, uh, close to the fans. A little battle, but it looks like Frontenac was able to touch it last off of the uh, win for the faceoff, so they're going to get the doing on that one and collect it and break back on out over the... Center ice and dump her in. It looks like he's going to go in deep in behind the net. and They're going to attack Way while he tries to bring that puck out. And then Reed uses his uh, size to control the play in deep. And looks like there's going to be some jamming of the puck at the side of the net there. But it didn't, uh, nothing too dangerous. Looks like it just went wide, and Ganok was able to collect that puck back up and start driving it out. I'll go over center and just a quick dump in. 
And we'll give chase there for that. Oh, and the puck's going to fire into the away penalty box. So we're going to reset here with that puck out of play. Pucks in deep in front next zone and around the boards, but Mead was able to break that one up. But uh, Frontenac getting back and forth and just kind of comes out and dumps it in deep, but gets picked up at the uh, blue line again. Aqua, and they're gonna have some bodies all over the place as they try to fight for that puck out. Higgs gonna give chase there, pick up the puck, and Fire a wide pass, but unable to be grabbed. But there's still a good opportunity for me to attack on. Here's Bowman with a shot and eaten up by the keeper's glove for Frontenac. Gans working the puck in deep, but Frontenac's able to uh, collect that puck, and they're going to just fire it down into the uh, Ganakwe zone for nice and call. And again, they'll swing on back down to the Frontenac zone reset on the ice and call. We have some fresh legs coming out, looks like from Ganakwe and from the uh, Frontenac Flyers. So, see what these fresh legs can do out there. Oh, and a good win by the winger for Frontenac. He's going to drive in, but taken down. Looks like on his own on his own balance, though. We had another player drop at the uh, blue line for Frontenac, and in comes Gann, who's going to try to drive. And, oh, a hard, hard save for the goalie, but he's able to bat that one away, and now we have a two-on-one for Frontenac. Nice pass over to Pipe, and a big save there in net for the front Ganakwe keeper. That puck's just gonna slide on down and they're gonna pick that one up. And they're gonna trade passes back and forth from the team. Bowman fight, fights for the puck, dump it in and France is gonna give chase but the puck's gonna get fired off to the far side. And here comes Reed again, picking up the puck. He's going to fire a pass over to, looks like, Pipe. And, oh. And there you have it. Luke Reed, 99. Hat trick goal. Assist number three, Garrett Pipe. And number seven, Cameron Monroe. Again, that's Reed's third of the evening. And nice shot wide, but uh, unable to connect on the net. So, so Reed's going to fight with the puck in behind the net. And Higgs is going to beat Reed to the puck and uh, get that dumped up to the boards to Lehman. Oh, and we have the puck in the net. It looks like Hannah Mead tipped that one in. That's number two this evening for Hannah. Assist to number 72, Lee France. That's Lee's second assist as well. Ganakway is just down by one now.
We have about two minutes left in this game, and Ganakwe is going to be putting on the pressure here to try to tie this one up and send it to overtime. Or have a tie game. I'm not exactly sure how the system works here in the U13. I'm learning as I go. Oh, pipe got taken down. The fans weren't happy about that. And a long dump in. No icing, so Gan's going to give chase and flick it up the boards, and they're going to fight for it on the boards. Ganaku's going to come out with it, but, oh, a good uh, Baldwin was able to use his leg to block that unintentionally. Ganakwe is going to recollect at the blue line and fire one in on the goalie. That's just high and wide. Woman gives chase with a shot at the uh, center right or centering of the net, but I don't know will get in. Ganakwe has pulled the tender. We have an extra attacker on the ice. Oh, and that puck is broke up and oh, just wider than that. Oof. That was close, but they're going to bring it on back down for the icing call. Just keep an eye to see if they're going to call a time. Yeah, and they're calling a timeout, so we'll just give it a minute here while this team has their timeout. Ganakwe is going to be discussing how they're going to put this one in the net, and Frontenac's going to be having a good discussion on how they're going to stop it from going in the net. Keep this game, keep this game in reach. Don't want Ganakwe getting a goal and having momentum this late in the game. So they're going to be doing what they can to keep that from happening. Ganakwe is going to be doing what they can to put that puck in the net. We'll just recap you here. Luke Reed with his hat trick goal. Gave Frontenac five. Hannah Mead scored her second to make it 5 4. And that's where we sit right now. And that puck's going to dump down. And Pipe's going to give chase. Out comes, it looks like, May Uwe came out with that puck. But Frontenac's going to be able to keep it in, and they're going to keep putting on pressure. Ganok was doing a good job putting the body in front of the puck to keep that from uh, going in the net. And here comes Bowman with a shot. But, oh, we're going to have an offside call. And it looks like we have 24 point, or 25.0 left, I believe. Camera doesn't like the lights on that scoreboard. Oh, and the puck's gonna get dumped down and wheezing. She's oh, he trips up and oh, Pipe's able to put it in and look at those dance moves. And that's gonna seal the game. Frontenac is going to win this one. There's only 17 seconds left, and they have a two-goal lead. It's possible, but it's really, really hard to score two goals in 17 seconds. And they're going to push through the blue line, but... And, oh, they look like they're going to get a good chance inside the net, but unable to get it in. It's kept in. And a flick on net, but that's all over now. Front knock wins the game. Your final score is front knock six, Ganakwe four.
We hope you enjoyed this game. The next two home games will be Saturday at 2.30 and Sunday at 1.30. We'll see you at the loo.